Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ruth Pranay, host on Intellect Digest and in the follow-up to our review video of the Coolpad Note 3, we are back with a gaming and heating test of the Coolpad Note 3 in this video. In this video, we play two aggressive games and find out temperatures that it reaches and we also test the benchmarks on this phone by running some applications like Antutu and Geekbench and find out how this phone performs on these benchmarking apps. Let's get started. Unfortunately, our air conditioning is broken and we are doing this test in non-air conditioning environment. And the ideal temperature before we started this test was around 35 degrees, slightly warmer than uh, it usually is. And after we ran the benchmarks, the temperature reached 41.6 degrees, that's close to 42 degrees. That's a good uh, 5.6 degrees increase or 6 degrees increase uh, in temperature after running the benchmark. We got a score of close to 32,000. And on Geekbench, the single core score was around in 500 range and multi-core score was in range of 2,227. That's a good amount of performance considering that this phone is priced at 9,000 rupees. It's powered by an octa-core 1.3 GHz processor coupled with 3 GB of RAM and there is 16 GB internal memory which can be further expanded by adding a micro SD card to this phone. After running the benchmarks, we played Need for Speed on this phone for 5 to 7 minutes. The initial temperature was around 41 degrees and after we finished playing this game, we touched a temperature close to 45 degrees. That's slightly warm and slightly uncomfortable to hold this phone after it reaches 45 degrees centigrade. Thereafter, we played Nova 3, another very heavy title which is a first person shooter game. And we played that game for another good 5 to 7 minutes and this phone did heat even further and reached around 48 degrees but it did not cross that barrier of 47.8 or around 48 degrees. The phone got hot and became warm but at the same time because of the plastic material construction the temperature did not feel that hot. It's still playable and it's non-air conditioned environment. If you are in an air conditioned environment the temperatures will be 4 to 5 degrees lower than that but it does not cross 48 degrees at any point of time. Well, this is subjective. You can find it uncomfortably hot. Some may find it warm. Some may find it okay. But in my opinion, it is warm and uh, anything above 40 degrees is slightly uncomfortable. So if you are holding the phone from the edges, it's still okay. But if you want to touch it, it will still uh, feel slightly hot. Yes, it does have very powerful processor. It does play games very well, but it does get hot. And this is all we have on this video. Do share your opinion in the comment section below. This phone is a beast when it comes to playing games and we really like the gaming performance. The heating part, well, not so much. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. If you want to pick up one for yourself, I'm leaving direct links in the description section below where you can buy one for yourself. This is all we have on this video. I hope to see you on my next video. Stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button. I hope to see you on my next video. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.